white people devils. I looked at the works of uh, Elijah Muhammad, and we both know them, and, and they are to an extent espoused by, by Louis Farrakhan. And according to Nation of, of, of Islam writings given by Farrakhan Muhammad, that white people are devils. They, they were created by the evil scientist uh, Yaqub, who mixed a rat, cat, and a dog, and created this, this, this evil race. But I disagree strongly. And, and in fact, it's not true. All respect due to, to anyone's beliefs. I'm not here to denigrate a belief, but I'm here to speak my truth. And my truth is, 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 is simple. And it's based, in, based upon the Bible, which is Genesis 127, that, that God created everyone. He created mankind in his own image. And in an image, God created them. We're all created in the, in the image of God. Furthermore, just basic genetics shows that we are an identical people. In fact, there is, uh, we are the most undifferentiated species on the planet. We're like one big family, Homo sapiens, a one big family. We, we were created by a, a, a evolutionary bottleneck, a small group of people um, um, emerged from Africa and populated the, the entire earth. In many other species, there are many different um, um, variations, many different species, but there's only one type of human, which is Homo sapien, and we are one big family. So there's no issue of there being a, a, a devilish race or devilish people or, or an inferior people or superior people. We're the same. The problem with, with, with people when we talk about devils is that we all have the devil in us. Why? Because to be devilish is to want more than you need, to want more than God gifted you with, to want more than, than what you see in front of you. The Bible's clear that all that exists in this world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And that's where we have all these problems. The concept of race is very similar to, to horoscope. You were born in December, so you're a Sagittarius or whatever, and, and you're going to act like a Sagittarius and, and all these other things. It's It's... It's it's just not true, and the same is with race. And race is also a, a social it's, it's a social um, construct. And, and I think it was 1734. Uh, um, his name was Linnaeus, uh, Carl Linnaeus. He he devised this concept of races. And before then, even in the ancient world, there was no such concept of race. It's a new construct. And it was made from justification, the justification to want more, to, to be diabolical is to want more than you were given, to, to think that what you've been gifted with is not sufficient, to, to, to be dissatisfied with, 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 with your very place. We know that, 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 that the enemy took battle to the Lord because he wanted to, to rule. It's wanting more than you were supposed to have hair. Here was the enemy in, in the holies of, of holies in heaven, yet still that was not enough. And, and, and I say to you, that's why it says in, in Job 15, 15, even that heavens are not clean because what God did through his creation, his angels, his human beings, is that he gave us all free will and he gave it, it to us all. He, he gave none more than the other. And if we as people, one people, homo sapiens, Begin to understand that we are all one, and that we've been we've been 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 plowed with a lie. We've been sold to see a, a, a lie to ourselves to feel that that one race is superior and one race is is, is inferior. It's 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 not it's not biblical. It's not even scientific. All the genes, all the science and and, and genetics show that we are ninety nine point nine percent identical. There is there is no such more identicalness in, in the entire animal kingdom. In in, in fact, if you uh, story, um, we all know that I'm divorced and I and I went through divorce thing and during divorce, if you have children, um, often there is an issue of a paternity test, and I think it came out to like ninety eight point something, and I said, too bad, that's yours, pay, that's yours. But when it comes to Homo sapiens, we are ninety nine point nine percent identical. Even in a court of law, we'd be deemed to be related. So every other thing that we're talking about is, is, is ridiculous. Just like we have tall people, short people, um, people who have lighter skin, darker skin, uh, people who, who, who run fast, who, who think. These are all just individual gifts that God gives us, but they're nothing to make us better than the others.
the Bible as an example of Jonah. And Jonah goes forward to, and he's, he's meant to preach to the Ninevites. And the Ninevites are a wicked people. They're wicked. And Jonah did not want to go. Many of our Christian brothers are like that because of the way people live. We don't want to go there. We want to remain as we are. Jonah's name meant meant it meant dove. He he was he was special. He was loved. And when the word of God hit Jonah, it, it struck him like hot water hits your back. He just jumped up and left. He just couldn't he couldn't believe that God would tell him to do something. And I'm telling you to do something today to to to, to leave your your place of comfort and believing that people are not worth your time. You, you're not you only become diabolical, black, white, Asian, whatever you may be, when you believe that that people are inferior. When they you are your own kin, you only become diabolical when you want more than the Lord has gifted you with. And I do understand like where Elijah Muhammad was coming from. Understand me. I'm not I'm not saying I agree with it, but I can understand where he's coming from because he's coming from a place of pain where he he, he saw people attacking his own kind. And to him that was was that was diabolical. Others might look at us and say we're diabolical because they don't like the way our culture is is, is structured. Everybody wants to put another person down. And the actions of Carl Linnaeus, who, who, who founded this concept of race like horoscope, he was trying to, to, to justify what was going on in, in the world. What my point is, is, is that in the beginning, we were one. In, in the middle, we were one. It's only now we have this, this concept of race, which is tearing the world apart. And the Bible says that, that, that in heaven, there is no, no bond, no, no free there's no Jew, there's no Gentile, there's none of these things. There's no male or female. Yet we have all these restrictions and these, these gradations in life, and they're tearing us down. We're facing a time on, on this earth where, where, where we, we are going to experience great upheaval. It's, it's, it's going to happen because, because that's how evil works. That's how the need to want more than you need uh, plays itself out when when Adam and Eve were in the garden and, and they wanted more than what God gave them. They wanted more than they needed. And it, and it caused such problems. And we're at a similar stage today where we have people who believe that, that they are superior, that, that they have these great Nazi flags and, and they're about to, to dominate the world. They would, they would even undermine their own country just to have whiteness. And it's, there was much criticism to, to, to be made against, against white superiority. And there's much criticism to, to be made against, against how we do what we do, too. But it all boils down to this. We are one. And we have the ability to destroy this world. We have the ability to, to destroy ourselves. But there's one aspect here. And this aspect of superiority is turning the world apart. And it's, it's, it's going to continue. And, and what we have to do to offset it is to do what the Lord said do. And, and, and he said, when they asked Jesus, the greatest commandment is to love God, to love ourselves, and to love our neighbor. He didn't say nothing about enslaving. He didn't say nothing about calling people the, the, the devil. He didn't say nothing about that. He said to love. And until we understand that we're one family, we will not get it right. We're not even acting as a true member of the animal kingdom because even the, the great savages of the animal kingdom the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the lions and tigers and bears, they kill only what they need. We're the only ones who, who, who kill just to have more than we need. And it's the love of money which is the root of all evil. And I, no matter what your race, if you are going after what you need more than anything else, then you're the devil. Then you're the diabolical one. It's not a racial thing. And there is no such thing as race. It's just a matter of human greed. And it's a thing that has to be stopped. Father, I thank you and I ask, oh Lord, that you deliver us from the scourge of, of love of money, of the, the scourge of hatred, the scourge of tearing each other down. But we understand, oh Father God, that we're called to a higher standard, that we who call ourselves to be people of the book must rise up and speak truth to power, that this, this, this racial superiority, inferiority thing that is tearing up the world, oh Father God, and that that, that, that destroyed so many lives must come to an end, Lord. And we must all be satisfied with the gifts you've given us, Lord. And we must put greed and avarice to the side. Lord, we love you, thank you, and we adore you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen.